Black Henry's ruthlessness knows no end. The former commander of the armies of the fallen King Richard the Lionheart now sheds blood in the name of paying taxes owed to King John. The stigma of suffering hangs over an oppressed people. The evil and destruction sown by Henry is compounded by the rule of the murderous Sheriff of Nottingham. Together they plan another plot to end the life of the last of the Loxley family, Robin. a sight for sore eyes. Praised be the day, for our good friend Robin is finally back. And just as I had feared, he looks absolutely horrendous. By Mary, Robin, did you lose a fight to a bear? What trouble did you get into this time? Don't even ask. And it's not like you'd really believe in my misadventures anyway. Well, you are a master of cock and bull stories after all. And yet, I do notice you are quite parched and exhausted. Why don't you go and have a snack and rest in your hut for now? Do not fret or worry about anything else at the moment. There is no work that cannot wait until tomorrow dawn. Ah, the morning breeze sure is wonderful today. And look at yourself, friend. A night's sleep has really done you a favour. Are you fully awake yet, though? I see your trusty bow is missing. I didn't forget it, Brother Tuck. And it hurts me to say that, but I've lost it on my way home. And Lady Marion as well, as I can't seem to find her. Is that so? In that case, get up and work the axe, for you are in need of a new bow. The wood should be good enough for both the stave and the arrows. An effortless... You could probably buy one from a merchant, but since we are in a dire need of a bowman, you can have the bowstring I have been carrying around. And do not worry about our Lady Marion, for she is off to forage for herbs. Come back to me after you have finished crafting your new friend, because I have a few ideas for tasks I could assign you to.
Would you look at that? I would say that bow seems prettier than your old one. <laughs> no offense to your old companion, of course. None taken. I can't say how comfortable it feels to have one on me again. God has been kind to you, Robin, so why not repay him with some good deeds for the community? Silwich could use your help. You see, dear Robin, hunting without a skilled bowman left us short on meat. Would I be wrong to assume that taking on some deer should not be too much of a challenge for you today?
I see you are back alive and well. Hopefully you are bringing good news along with you. Were you able to hunt down some deer? It's almost like you're forgetting who you're talking to, Brother Tuck. Here it is. And it's still warm to the touch. I only hope it's enough for the community. By the grace, yes. And now that our people will not have to worry about food, they can finally get to work properly. Hmm. And that means you need not rest for too long now. If we want to be effective, we, and by that I mean you, need to gather more resources for the village's expansion as soon as possible. Sounds like another invigorating task. What would you like me to fetch? Just some rocks for the furnace I have got a blueprint of, my friend. We need something to smelt the iron ore into ingots if we want to have good tools. So be it then. I will be back when I have enough.
Need something. Finally, Silwich has its own furnace. Imagine all the tools you could make with its help. However... Aren't we lacking a smithy to make them? Precisely, dear Robin. I did not want to put too much work on your back at once, but it is a necessity. Please take this pickaxe because we are going to need oars for that. Come back when you have enough.
Oh, the sun shines bright today. Bastards, they sweep my bread again. I think I've lost my time.